I am Priyanka Singh, your science teacher. Today I am here to start with the chapter number 17 that is forests are lifeline. So let's start. A forest is a large uncultivated area of land densely covered with trees, shrubs and herbs. It also has many types of tall grasses, canes, creepers and climbers. Forests have perennial trees of sal, shisham, teak, banyan, neem, peepal, amla, kachnar, palash, bamboo, etc. Forests provide home to different mammals, birds, reptiles, insects, worms and microbes. Some human tribes also live in forests. So, an extra mile. Forest cover in India is about 21% of its total geographical area. We have tropical rainforest, subtropical rainforest and drier alpines. Due to different climatic conditions, there are variations in the types of trees and plants and forest. These types of animal also differ from forest to forest. Forest animals and their habitats. Forests are the habitat of a large number of different kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, etc. Animals like bear, bison, jackals, deer, porcupine, elephants, etc. live in the deeper areas of the forest. Monkeys, bats and birds live on trees. Reptiles such as snakes wriggle on the ground or live in burrows in the soil. Spiders, beetles and grubs live on forest floor. Importance of Forests Forests are an important renewable natural resource. These are essential for the survival of all animals including men and for the preservation of environment. These are Precious for country's economy. They are useful in following ways. Purify air. Plants purify air by using carbon dioxide in photosynthesis and releasing oxygen in the atmosphere. Thus, forests provide clean, fresh air for breathing and maintain a balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. An increase in the level of carbon dioxide may cause global warming. This will have serious impact on the life of Earth. Sources of food Forests provide food to all wild animals directly or indirectly. Herbivores eat plant and carnivore prey upon herbivores. Useful materials Forests provide many useful materials like wood, rubber, gun, resin, non-edible oils, BD leaf, ketechu, katha, honey, honey bee wax, bamboo, lac, etc. Medicines. Plants are sources of many medicines. Ayurvedic medicines are prepared from medicinal plants like tulsi, neem, jamun, turmeric, aloe vera, ginger, mint, sandal, etc. These medicines are in demand both nationally and internationally. Some of these products are used as cosmetics. Regulate climate. The process of transpiration by plants increases the humidity which makes the air cool and also attract rainfall. Shade from trees reduces the need for fans, coolers and air conditioning in summers. Control floods. Forests act as natural absorbers of rainwater. The trees hold rainwater and prevent its free flow. This greatly reduces the chances of flood. Trees help in increasing the level of water table due to efficient absorption of porous land in forest area. Prevent soil erosion. The roots of trees in forest hold the soil particles together preventing the soil from being blown or washed away. They help prevent floods. 
the leaves of tree reduce the force of the rain drops helping to keep the soil intact the trees decrease the velocity of the wind to prevent dislogging of soil particle check air pollution forest reduce carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere the trees bind soil particles together and decrease the dust contamination of the air the fine dust particle in the air are called suspended particulate matter that is spm there is almost no spm in evergreen forest maintain supply of nutrients trees make soil fertile by the recycling of the nutrients dead and decaying matter from dry leaves and dead plants and animal is decomposed by microorganisms and fungi decomposers present on the forest floor the released nutrients make forest soil fertile shelter forests provide habitats for a large variety of wild animals boars bison jackals panthers lions and elephants live in deeper areas of the forest where forest is thicker and undisturbed they live on the ground snakes either wriggle on the ground or burrow in the soil the forest floor is occupied by spiders beetles and grubs monkeys bats squirrels various types of birds and tree frogs occupy trees and tree twigs provide aesthetic value forests are pleasing to look at and add beauty to nature people like to get away from the noisy life of towns and cities and go to the forest for recreation they go there to take photos to camp to hike or just for a picnic home for tribes some ancient tribes live in forests the forest provide them everything they need like food shelter water and medicines products obtained from forest are source of steady income for tribals wildlife reserves some forests are changed into wildlife reserves where wild animals and plants are protected and uses of forest products is illegal types of plants and trees in forests forests have a wide variety of plants and trees based on their life span plants and trees are classified in the following three classes annual The plants having life span of 1 year are called annuals. These are herbs and their stem is soft, biennials. The plants that have life span of 2 years are called biennials. Perennials. The plants having long life span varying from decade to a few hundred years are called perennials. Shrubs and trees are perennials. forests are the main reservoir of such plants the structure of a forest a forest consists of different layers of vegetation trees and plants the three main layers of a forest starting top to ground are canopy understory and forest floor the amount of sunlight available in each layer of the forest decide which type of plants grow and survive there it also decide the habitat of various animals let us study all the layers of vegetation in a forest canopy layer the forest top layer consisting of branches and leaves of of tall trees forming a kind of roof or umbrella over the smaller trees and other plants in the forest the uppermost branches and leaves of tall trees which act like a roof or umbrella over the smaller trees in the forest is called canopy it has tall evergreen trees with large green leaves the branches overlap each other forming a continuous cover of dense leaves this layer is so dense that very little sunlight penetrates it and reaches the lower layer of the forest a large variety of birds bats monkeys insects live here 
Some animals live solemnly in the canopy region. They do not move down to the ground at all. Understory layer. Below the canopy, there is often an open space and then the layer created by smaller trees and other understory vegetation. This layer is hot and damp. Very little sunshine reaches this area, so the plants have to grow larger leaves to absorb maximum sunlight. Young trees, palm and shrubs grow here. It is home to animals like owls, lizards, jaguars, red-eyed tree frog and leopards. Forest flow. The forest flow is very dark. This is due to the canopy formed by the understory trees that prevents the sunlight from entering the forest floor. Mosses and ferns grow on the forest floor where it is warm, damp and shady. The soil on the floor is covered with the layer of leaves, twigs and dead plants and animals. Numerous species of vines and decomposers like earthworm, bacteria and fungi are found here which make unique adaptations to survive through minimal levels of sunlight on the forest floor. The forest floor is home to millipeds, beetles and large animals like rhinosaurus, tigers, elephants and cobras. Living community of forest. The living community of forest includes plants and animals. The living organisms can be classified into the following types producers or autotrophs, consumers or heterotrophs, saprotrophs, decomposers, producers. Green plants are autotrophs. They are called producer because they make food for all non-green living forms on the earth. The green plants use solar energy from sunlight in making food by the process of photosynthesis. Consumers. The organisms which consume the food made by the producers are called consumers. Consumers do not make their own food. All animals and humans are consumers. Examples Men, lion, cow, buffalo, dog etc. are consumers. Also consumers or heterotrophs can be divided into the following types. Herbivores, omnivore, carnivores, saprotrophs. The organisms which eat plants or plant products for their food are called herbivores. Goat, cow, deer are herbivores. The organisms which eat only flesh or animal as their food are called carnivore. Lion, jackal, hawks, tigers are carnivores. The organisms which eat both plants and animals meat are called omnivores. Humans and dogs are omnivores. Saprostrops. The organisms which derive their food from the dead and decaying animal and plants are called saprotrops or saprophytes. Mushrooms, yeast, bacteria are some common saprotrops. Decomposers. The organism which decompose the dead remains of plants and animals to simple compounds are called decomposers. Decomposers help in maintaining the supply of nutrients to the growing plants in the forest. Tiny mushrooms and insects, ants, beetles and many microorganisms called decomposers exist on the decaying leaves on the forest floor. These organisms and decomposers feed themselves upon the dead plant and animal surface and convert them into dark colored material called humus. Humus helps in the release of nutrients of the dead and decaying organic matter into the soil. Food chains A food chain shows the relationship between animals in a certain habitat and the food that they eat. It is a chain that shows who eats whom. Energy is transferred through a food chain. There are many steps in a food chain. Producers make the first step of a simple food chain. Consumers are the next link in a food chain. 
the animals at the end of various food chains are called the top consumers or top carnivores they are also called predators as they prey on other animals the animals that are hunted are called the prey consider the following food chain grass producer grasshopper primary consumer mouse secondary consumer hawk tertiary consumer food web a food web is a complex feeding system in a food web several food chains are interlinked in a forest many interlinked food chains exist in case one food chain is disturbed the other food chain is there to support the animals of next feeding level interdependence of plants and animals in forest animals human beings and plants show fundamental dependence on each other the relationship is mainly for food oxygen energy and shelter or protection Animals obtain food from plants. You know green plants are autotrophs. Using the process of photosynthesis, green plants capture solar energy from sunlight as energy to store chemical compounds that make their food. Almost all the energy needed by living beings on the earth comes ultimately from the sun through green plants known as producers. Animals and non-green plants obtain nutrients from the green plants. These are called consumers. It means that all animals depends on plants for food and energy. Some animals make their shelter on plants or trees. More birds make their shelter on plants or trees. Sparrows, crow, woodpecker, etc. make their shelter on trees. the dense bushes and tall grass provide animals protection for their enemies animals get shade and protection from sun and rain all animals small or big get protection from heat during summers and from rain during rainy season by hiding on or under the trees animals get oxygen from the plants all living organisms needs oxygen for respiration plants release oxygen into the atmosphere during photosynthesis an extra mile five medium sized trees release oxygen that is enough for a single person just calculate how many trees are needed to provide oxygen to all humans and animals on the earth dependence on plants and animals plants also depend on animals in certain ways plants depend on animals for carbon dioxide Plants need carbon dioxide for making their food by photosynthesis. Animals release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere during respiration. Plants depend on animals for pollination and seed dispersal. Bees, butterflies, and moth visit flowers for collecting nectar and in this act they help in the transfer of pollen from one flower to another. For attracting these insects plants have colorful and scented flowers Some animals feed on fruits and deposit seeds at different places Seeds on some plants clench off the body of animals and are carried away to new places This helps in the dispersal of seeds Plants depend on animals for nutrition Certain microbes decompose the bodies of dead and decaying animal and the dropping of animal to simpler molecules of plant nutrients. These nutrients percolate down into the soil and are absorbed by the plants through their roots. Dependence of human beings on plants. Human beings also depend on plants and trees in many ways. For example, Human beings get their food natural fiber like cotton jute from plants. Many plants and trees provide different types of medicinal compounds and species. Plants and tree also provide us wood, timber, rubber, gums and resin etc. Plants maintain a balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. In many processes such as burning of fuels and respiration oxygen o2 is used up and carbon dioxide co2 is produced the carbon dioxide so produced goes into the atmosphere
Carbon dioxide is also released into the atmosphere during many natural phenomena such as volcanic eruption and decay of dead animals. Plants take carbon dioxide during photosynthesis and release oxygen into the atmosphere. This exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen maintains the oxygen. Carbon dioxide balance in nature. So student, this is a picture of balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Next is, what will happen if forests disappear? Some of the consequences if forests disappear are mentioned below. The proportion of carbon dioxide in the air will increase. This will result in the rise of Earth's temperature. The animal will not get food and shelter. The soil will not hold water during rains resulting in floods. We will not get valuable forest products such as timber. The tribal people living in that area lose the source of their livelihood. Deforestation The large-scale felling of trees is known as deforestation. It is the permanent destruction of forests and woodlands. The forests are being destroyed to get more land for agriculture, industries, housing, roads, railway tracks and places of recreation. About 15 to 20 million hectares of tropical forest are destroyed every year. Trees are also cut for timber and fuel wood. Causes of deforestation The causes of deforestation are increased demand of fuel wood, paper and timber. Increased demand of land for industries, houses, roads, agriculture and railway tracks. Increased mining activity. Lowering of water table causes plants and trees to wilt and die. Consequences of deforestation. We have still studied how useful the forests are for us and other animals. Let us look what will happen if the forests disappear. Filling of trees in large numbers will disturb the oxygen cycle leading to the increase in the amount of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide in the air. This will lead to global warming as these gases absorb heat and increase the temperature of the surroundings. We will not be able to obtain the plant product. It causes soil erosion in large quantities, making the soil barren. The Sahara Desert once used to be a lush green forest, which became a desert as a result of extensive deforestation. Trees hold the soil firmly, thus feeling of trees makes the area proven to landslides and floods. Felling of trees also affects the rainfall that may lead to droughts in secure circumstances. Animals that live in the forest will lose their habitat. Methods to conserve forests. Following methods may be adopted to conserve forests. Overgrazing by cattle and other animals should be stopped. Large scale cutting of the forest trees must be stopped. It is very essential to cut a few trees, plant more trees in their places. Plant more seedlings on the deforested land every year during the rainy season to develop new forests. One Mahotsav should be observed by planting seedlings in large numbers. Forest fire must be checked. People should avoid smoking or cooking in the forest area. Forest must be protected from insects, pests and infection by treating them with insecticides and pesticides. Conserve air, land and water that is pollution of air. Land and water must be controlled so that trees and other vegetations could survive. Industries must be asked to adopt proper water treatment plants. All activities leading to soil erosion must be stopped. While constructing dams, roads and mining, all ecological factors must be considered. So students, it's time for Reader's Digest. A forest is a large uncultivated area of land densely covered with trees, shrubs and herbs. 
forests are an important renewable natural resource. Forests provide habitats for a large variety of wild animals. A forest consists of different layers of vegetation, trees and plants. A food web is a complex feeding system. So students, it's time to take your leave. Bye, we'll meet in the next class.